this looks like a real mess. <laughs> kind of looks like your mods folder, huh? <laughs> uh, no, it's not funny. It's, it's really not. Actually, let me go ahead and help you with that. And let's discuss how to clear out unwanted, unused, and broken build mode custom content from your Sims 4 mods folder. Hello everybody, it is Misolita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to remove unwanted, unused, or broken build mode custom content from your Sims 4 mods folder. I recently made a tutorial showing how to remove unwanted, unused, broken clothing, accessory, skin detail content from your Sims 4 mods folder using Sims 4 Create a Sim. However, I really didn't approach the topic of build mode custom content, and I got a few questions on how we would be able to do that. So I will be demonstrating that in today's video. Highly recommend watching that video if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's get into it. You will need two things in order to remove unwanted build mode custom content from your Sims 4 mods folder. And that would be one, obviously the Sims 4 and two, the Sims 4 tray importer. I went over the tray importer in the last video I made about this topic, but I will go over it again. The Sims 4 tray importer is an application that allows you to upload or download some Sims 4 content, such as houses, lots, Sims, or rooms from or into your library, along with many other features. If you do not have the Sims 4 tray importer installed, you can click the link in the description of this video to go download it right now, and I promise you it is 110% safe. And something optional that you can also use for this tutorial is Twisted Mexi's Better Build By mod. This mod is such a lifesaver, and I will show you how it can be a lifesaver in this tutorial. Now that you have the Sims 4 and the Sims 4 tray importer, it's time to open the Sims 4 and move on to the next step. Here I am in the Sims 4. I am currently in my Chaos and Sue save file, which is basically my save file where I do a bunch of nonsense. I'm going to find a lot that is empty that I haven't used yet. And I think over here in Ravenwood, Hay Hill Landing will be the perfect spot. So once you have found that unused lot, go ahead and click build at the bottom right of your screen. Okay, I have loaded on to this 64 by 64 lot here in Ravenwood. And what we are going to be doing with this lot is we are going to be putting down just as much unwanted, broken, unused Sims 4 build custom content on this lot as we possibly can. Now, remember earlier how I said that I recommend using Twisted Mexi's Better Build By mod for this tutorial? This is going to be a big reason why. One reason is that if you click this button on your keyboard, I don't know what the button's called. I am so sorry, but it is on the upper left of your keyboard. This will then expand. And oh my God, is it so much more helpful to see four rows at a time rather than two. Makes this process so much easier. And two, if you go over here to the filter items area and you click that little arrow, you have a few options over here. Now, you'd probably be thinking, thinking to click the one that says better build by, but I'm not really gonna be touching this one. I mean, I could put move objects on, but besides that, the one place I really want to focus on is content. Because if I go right here, it gives me the option to hide maxes content and select custom content. So I'm gonna be doing both of these and I'm going to press done once I'm done. So that means when I go over here to objects by function or objects by room, I will be only shown custom content. No maxes content is being shown right Right now, which makes it so much easier to pluck out the CC that I don't want. And from this point, we just do exactly what I said. We're going to be placing down unwanted, unused, broken custom content. Now, the thing is though, I want you to be very careful with things you select because some of the things you select, you might actually need for a certain mod, or it might be a mesh for a recolored piece of CC that you downloaded. So just be careful with that. But anything else is fair game. So I am just going to right now go through every single thing that I don't want. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do with all of that afterwards. Okay, I have a decent amount of CC down. Obviously, it's not a lot in comparison to how big this lot is and the full potential of CC I don't want or broken CC I could have down, but I'm lazy. Don't be like me. Once you are done placing down a bunch of CC that you don't want or that's broken, the next thing you're gonna do is save the lot to the gallery. And you could name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it broken CC, something that's obvious and basic and go ahead and save to the gallery. And once that is done, you can exit out of 
have The Sims 4 and we are going to open up The Sims 4 Tray Importer. Here we are in The Sims 4 Tray Importer. Up at the top left, you will see the lot that you just saved. Here is mine, title broken CC. And if you go over here to where it says CC at the top and just wait a few seconds, you will then see all of the CC you placed on that build pop up on the screen. And after that's done, you can right click on each of these files and press show containing folder and boom, your file explorer will pop up and that file will also pop up as well. So then you can go ahead and right click and delete it. It is very time consuming to do this. You are going to have to do this for every single file shown on your screen, but it is highly worth it in the end because after this, you'll have a less cluttered CC folder and less broken and unwanted CC in your game. And that is it guys. That is how you get rid of unwanted, unused or broken Sims 4 build CC. Very, very simple. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. And if this video helped you out in any way, consider leaving a like, comment, share, and subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to support the channel, consider using my code Solita Sims at checkout on the Sims 4 official website or on the EA app when purchasing any Sims 4 DLC. If you guys have any requests for any other tutorials to make, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.